Myanmar's recent political and economic reforms have made it a popular destination for Singapore businesses looking to venture overseas. Experts say local firms would do well to explore business opportunities in sectors such as tourism, hospitality, infrastructure and manufacturing. These beauty and healthcare products will soon be found in supermarkets and pharmacies across Myanmar. Singapore-based company Kino Biotech has partnered a distributor to enter Myanmar's 490 million Sing dollar health and beauty market. The company says finding a reliable local partner is key to help it navigate the unfamiliar market. The immediate challenges will be the regulatory framework, getting our product registered, the process. So all these is in a black box because we are learning. It will take time and whether it will change overnight or not, we are not sure. But so far for our venture, we've been very fortunate to work with a distributor who are very, very knowledgeable. Besides regulatory concerns, economists say the lack of infrastructure in various essential services such as transport, power supply and telecommunication may hamper Myanmar's growth. Meanwhile, experts said that there are investment opportunities in hospitality, utilities and industrial infrastructure. Companies looking for a low-cost production base could also consider expanding into the country. Uh, huge potential, right? either in terms of a labour supply, uh, which is relatively cheap, wh whether you are talking about an industry that's looking to uh, sell or meet consumer demand, or, uh, or if you're a company looking for a manufacturing base that is relatively low cost in a developed region, you know, th these, are, these are potential opportunities, you know, besides their natural uh, gas, uh, natural resources uh, advantage. According to Stan Chart, Myanmar's economy is expected to grow by 6.4% in 2013 compared to 6.2% in 2012.